Right, this is lesson three of unit two. We're talking about an auxiliary line when we're trying to solve for angles in a picture. An auxiliary line is just a line that is added to a figure to help in a problem. So generally when we're talking about parallel lines and transversals, you're going to add in a parallel line that will help you solve for a missing angle. So if we wanted to know angle B here, we could add in a parallel line that's going down the middle here, and they're usually dashed lines that you know that you added it in. And again, it's parallel to both of these two lines. So if you look at example one, we want to find the measure of angle W. Angle W is this entire angle here, okay? So if we want to find the measure of angle W, they already drew in this auxiliary line for us. So the dotted line is the auxiliary line. That way, if we just look at the first half, or the right half, I guess, of the picture, we see that this angle is 35. So then I know that angle F would also be 35 degrees because they are alternate interior, which is what we learned yesterday. So the measure of angle F equals 35 degrees. To find angle E then, we know that angle E, now we're just looking at the left half of our picture, is alternate interior to this angle labeled as 41. So angle E is 41 degrees. If we know both pieces of angle W, then all we need to do to find out what this entire angle at W is, is to add 41 plus 35. So the measure of angle W equals 41 plus 35, which gives us 76 degrees. And the reason for both of these two, we said, was alternate interior angles. And I'm just going to abbreviate alternate. Okay, let's look at one more example with auxiliary lines. We want to find out what this entire angle at G is. We know that we already have two parallel lines here. So I know that I'm going to draw in my auxiliary line that's going to be parallel to those two sides, or those two lines, and is going through angle G. That then tells me that this angle here Okay, same side interior to this angle, 144. So it's going to be 180 minus 144, which is 36 degrees. And that's because we have same side interior. And then I know this angle here is alternate interior to the 56. And we said this one is 36, so to find the entire measure of angle G, I'm going to do 36 plus 56, which equals 92 degrees. And that would be your answer. Make sure you fill out your summary and ask a question.